She could be 90 years old, but Mary Lawinyoluwum has not lost much strength, spirit and memory 38 years after the death of her husband, former Archbishop Janani Luwum. The Archbishop's widow vividly remembers her last words to him that fateful morning on Wednesday, 16th February, 1977. <laughs> Earlier, there had been ominous signs that Archbishop Lewum could be in danger. That month, President Idi Amin had summoned him several times for grilling at State House. One night, soldiers raided the Archbishop's home with the help of a suspect and searched it for many hours. Thereafter, Lewum and 17 Anglican bishops sent a protest letter to President Amin. The letter reads in part, We have buried many who have died as a result of being shot, and there are many more whose bodies have not been found. The gun which was meant to protect Uganda as a nation, the Ugandan citizen and his property, is increasingly being used against the Ugandan to take away his life and his property. On Tuesday, 15th February 1977, Lewum and Mary held a five-hour meeting with President Amin in State House and Tebe. For Mary, the allegations and incessant summons to State House were becoming too many. <laughs> Mary, who now lives at the family home in Kidgum district, says her husband refused to flee to exile and preferred to keep with his flock in the trying times. On the eventful Wednesday, 16th February 1977, Archbishop Lewum and other bishops were invited to State House for a meeting. Three suspects claimed that the Archbishop was conspiring to overthrow the government. That evening, Lewum was murdered alongside Internal Affairs Minister Oboth Ofumbi and Inspector General of Police Erunayo Oriema. Government claimed that the trio died in a car accident, which is widely believed to have been state managed. <laughs> Mary and their seven children immediately fled to exile in Kisumu, Kenya. The army later transported Archbishop Lewum's body to his home in Muchwini sub-county in Kitgum district. Just a few people buried him at the small Anglican church at Wigweng. Here lies one of the greatest men the country has ever seen. He led a commoner's life and for over 30 years was lying in a simple grave here until this one was renovated in 2010 by the U.S. Army. Mary returned to a hard life in Uganda in 1979 following President Amin's ouster by Ugandan exiles backed by Tanzanian forces. Thereafter, she left for the village and embarked on farming to make ends meet. <laughs> Kitano, Pamagini, a poor, no, get a poor, you better 
Birka Konya. Janani Jakalia Lewum was born in 1924 in Muchwini in Kitgum district. He joined leadership ranks in the Church of Uganda in 1955 after quitting teaching. On 25th January 1969, he was consecrated Bishop of Northern Uganda in Gulu. In 1974, he was elected Archbishop of the Metropolitan Province of Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, and Boga Zahire. He started out as a member of the Chosen Evangelical Revival, a Balokole or Born Again denomination within the Church of Uganda, to which these four Christians belong. Lewum mentored many prominent church members, including retired Archbishop Henry Luke Orombi and Archbishop of York John Sentamu, who is expected to lead a special service to celebrate Lewum's life. Lewum is among ten modern martyrs honored by the Anglican Church with his statue at Westminster Cathedral in London. On Monday, hundreds of people from Uganda and across the world will attend the annual commemoration service for Archbishop Lewum in Muchwini that is expected to be graced by President Yoel Museveni and other dignitaries to honor a man who remains popular in death just like he was in life. Moses Sakena, NTV. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,